Henny Otto is back. By that, I mean the 12 times Sunshine Tour winner has been contending with a couple of consecutive top five performances. But also that he's home when we're not used to seeing so much of him. I lost my card through injury in Europe. So uh, I'm playing a bit of Sunshine Tour to get my game back to where I want it to be. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll be back in Europe soon. Sadly, injury is a word we've heard all too often in relation to Henny, despite a 21-year pro career. He has, though, notched 14 tournaments this season. I've been playing well, but not scoring good. Uh, that made the difference. It's a bit uh, aggravating. Uh, the way I played didn't show on the scoring-wise. And then last week, uh, it started to show the scoring side, you know. I finished fifth, made a few, few mistakes. It could have been a bit better. And I felt, yeah, you know, something can happen. Fifth at the Vodacom Origins per race. And same again when we spoke at the Sabaya Challenge. Pretty satisfying all in all, as he feels it's getting harder to compete out there. The level's gone up to a higher level than the old days when we used to play. Um, I mean, the, all the youngsters work harder these days on their games. It's a different mindset. The, the guys are fitter, they train harder. So yeah, and there's a lot of money to be playing for. And um, that's why the youngsters are hungry. That's why you're seeing all these low scores. The 42-year-old still has a hunger himself, of course, but he's mellowed with experience. There's a new key word. Patience. I never had patience when I was younger. But, um, yeah, I just take it as it comes now these days, you know. Um, there's always a next week or a next tournament to perform. So, you know, if this week doesn't happen, it's going to happen next week. There are plenty of other things to bring satisfaction to. He's been racking up the miles for smiles. It helps his fitness. It's also enormous help for charity. Charity's done well. Uh, I just rode down Mashova on Sunday, 106 kilometers. Uh, miles to create smiles. You know, it's for kids. You know, uh, we've chosen cancer this year again, Noonan syndrome. Uh, human trafficking. I'm an ambassador for one of the human trafficking uh, organizations and diabetes. Um, so I write for those charities and I try to get corporate sponsors to get involved and um, then I give the money to, uh, to these kids, you know. So it makes a difference. It's nice if you cycle for something. It's like I said, miles to create smiles, but uh, there's a little, little bike on the, on the hat, but it's not cycling, it's just we're going an extra mile for the kids, you know, and uh, wherever I can help, it's always nice to do that. Of course, it helps the charity's profile that he's an SA Open champion. Serengeti, 2011. It's any South African professional golfer's dream to win your SA Open because it's such a prestigious tournament. I think it's the second oldest tournament in the world. So um, to hold that trophy and you see the names, on the trophy. I mean, that speaks for itself, if you see the names on the trophy. So it's going to be played at Rand Park, I think. Uh, it's a big field this year, two courses, 240 players. So it's going to be a quite a tough week. But yeah, like, like I've won it before, and it will always be nice to maybe a second time, you know? He came close at Glendower in 2013. Stay fit, aim high, who knows?